The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart here of the NASDAQ action here over the last eight or ten days. I'd like for you to see today, uh, today's high, you'll notice was the 382 of the high that we made two and a half weeks ago up there at uh, 14,936 is what it was. And we went all the way down. We dropped 130 handles and then came back 120 handles. So this is really a really wild, volatile market. Now, the Dow Jones still under pressure, but the others uh, are not. Folks, I, I'm not really sure whether I'm going to be able to continue or not because my voice is getting worse and it's my throat is starting to hurt. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to take a pass today because I, uh, I'm having a real difficult time talking. So, uh, Al, I'm sorry to put you at this uh, disadvantage here, but I thought I was going to make it. But I, I didn't realize how, how weak my voice is, so I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to be able to continue here. So, uh, Al, why don't you uh, – I don't know. Does any – well, nobody – folks, I'm really sorry. I haven't had this trouble in a long time. But I just can't continue. So I'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow. I apologize for not being able to do it, but – it hurts. I, I'm not sick. It's just my throat hurts. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN Education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts 
while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas, interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting here for Larry Pazavento. And uh, Larry's voice just kind of just went right out as he was talking. Uh, Larry, I hope you get better real soon. We need you here. And in the meantime, back at the ranch, the Dow's down 116 at 34,383. Uh, it went to a slightly lower low this morning. Yesterday's low was uh, 30, uh, Friday's low was 34,263. Today's low is 34,248. Now it's attempting some kind of a bounce. And if you're looking at the futures, mm. look at this. The, uh, I've got to change that. So that is a D going to an E. Let me just do this real quickly. Uh, some of you might be new to uh, at least my work. And let me just say, I uh, shouldn't put that in. All right, here we go. So in the Chapman methodology, we try to identify the lowest low bar and count every successively higher peak alphabetized sequentially uppercase on the way up, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Never goes to an H, that's six highest peak is the highest you can go without changing the letters. And at D, the fourth highest peak, other things can happen. So with that said, I'm always looking at a couple of patterns that just repeat over and over and over and over, just like Larry looks at patterns, straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation and a mix of the two yes one and three why because if it goes to p a or a b and then takes out the left side low in this arch formation or lowercase h formation that can see a very uh, sharp drop after that and on the upside a breakout with this y reverse y pattern says you take out the left side high you can go quite a bit higher so with that said what do we have we have a whole combination of those also i have a, a webinar coming up on wednesday night in which I discussed, which I've been doing here at uh, TFNM forever, but in the last, uh, oh, I would say in the last uh, six weeks or so, especially the last two to three weeks, I've been talking about the strength of the nine-period moving average. Of course, with Larry, that's absolutely sacrilegious. He only looks at, at the, uh, the Fibonacci numbers. He looks at the extension, the A to B equals C to D, et cetera, and he gets the... Uh, <clears throat> those expansions and I'm looking at something where I use moving averages if I need them I don't need them sometimes or if I do need them it's important and what I had said is if that nine period moving average and I'll do this a webinar with a quite a lot is focused on this very thing because we waited and waited and waited so in this particular chart that's the gray is the Dow chart uh, closing price I want to make it as simple as possible. Just three lines. This is the jagged line. Yes, yeah, the big gray one is the Dow. The green one is the nine period moving average, which goes green when it passes over, passes over the 14 period moving average, which is black, and goes pink when it goes down. And there it is, pink. So this says that the Dow um, is now in a sell mode on the daily. This is a daily chart. Sell mode. It just That's the designation. It means like a bear market is 20%. Doesn't mean to say you couldn't turn it 20%, but it says that's what it did. That's that's the description. So now let's go back to the story here. <clears throat> and there's the nine period moving average return negative. I use other indicators. One particular indicator gave us gave us an opportunity to go short the Dow right at the top on the August the first. <clears throat> um, the high was 35,679. Um, and now it's down at the 34,742 level. It's not a big deal, 1,000 points or 1,200, Hey, that's nothing. It's a blink of an eye when you're looking at this monthly chart. But in the very short term, it says this daily chart has weakened enough that we can now start looking at the weekly chart to say, hey, is this giving a sign of a sell signal? I and mean, look at the way you see this blue line. Just have a look at this. 
That blue line, the high of the blue line, I'll go right there, is right there. What's the high of the Dow? On a weekly basis, one week later, it makes a fractional new high and then it turns around. Now, look at this low right here. Right there. See that low, this blue line? You see that blue line? Exactly on the day. March the 17th turns around. So you can use these different indicators when you need them. Do I need them now? I don't need it now because uh, we've changed direction. The tide has turned. Okay. With that said, let's get to a couple of the nitty gritties here. Uh, I'm not sure if Larry would have spoken about it. I haven't looked at wheat for a couple of days. But look, wheat. I use a 200 period exponential moving average as the longer term support and resistance level. Look at this. The 200 period moving average since, uh, I don't like to do this, but I'll do it. Since back in October of, October, the, there's a daily chart. October the 10th was the last time that it closed above the 200 period moving average. It got close in February. And that way, give me, I'll give you the price of wheat. This is the wheat continuous contract. Um, was 1,011, right? <clears throat> Rally up to the 820s. What was that exactly? 8, uh, 838. So 838 on the 14th of Feb. Didn't even get close. All of a sudden, it's getting closer and closer. The closer it gets, the more it's going to try to use that as a magnet. And what does it do? It goes right there, that peak E in the Chapman wave on the 26th of June, and it pulls back. It makes a cup formation. So now this cup formation, oh, I never did this. So give me an opportunity to do it now. So this cup formation pulls back and then goes back, and it's slightly, it goes slightly higher than the high of, there's wheat right here. On the 26th, wheat goes to 7, uh, 770 and three quarters. On the 26th, this is a continuous contract, pulls back to the 614s, screams up to the 777 and a quarter level, just a tad higher, closes for two days. It closes above the 200 period moving average, then it comes back. Now, what I would normally do, I did this left side, right side price time match. I do not trade uh, wheat, but I, I do the notation for all of these. Anything that moves, I'll do a notation because it's just fantastic practice of this particular technique. So what I would do is this. I have no, I can't remember now what happened, but I'm just saying, normally I would say, looking at a price time match, I would use that low and that low to give you uh, right there. Okay. To give you this right side. And let's see if it works. So there's the right side. We don't know yet. And that says... That there's a chance that if you take out the cup low, then this is your target. Now let's see where it goes to, right? And there it is. It got there a little early, and there's your target. So these are techniques that I'll be talking about. It doesn't matter that it's wheat. It could be anything that I'll be talking about in my webinar and demonstrating and showing. So dust wheat has gone back to the base in the five, uh, it's called the 600 level. It's trying to rally off that. Monthly chart is this big pyramid formation that goes straight up and then comes straight down. Well, bumpy up and then straight down. So it's not looking very strong at all. And the weekly chart has a potential for a very large arch formation, but it did take out that left side low. So we've got to watch that monitor really closely, and I'll put that in right here. Right there, there's the arch formation. Just over and over, these patterns are like fractals of human nature. They just repeat over and over in every time frame. Let's look at um, soy, soybean. Soybean is holding quite nicely. It made a peak F, pulled back, made a cup formation, tried to rally today. It's up nine and a quarter, nine and a half at 1362. This is only a leg B in the weekly charts. So, so far, this is good action, and it should try for the 1470s. 1470s. Mm, let's do one thing at a time. It should try for the uh, 1430s mm. over the coming uh, coming weeks. Let's just see if the uh, corn is doing the same thing. What's the corn? Corn's making new lows. Corn is acting very poorly within the rectangle formation. This is the arch that makes the dreaded H right here in the monthly chart. So corn is pretty weak. All right. That says we got to be careful. Um, if you are along that area. So, okay, just to show you some patterns. Meantime, back at the ranch, what I wanted to show you is within the context of 
the E-mini, um, it went negative for a brief moment, but there's a chance that this is just a single leg A to the upside in the down. What I said to subscribers this morning, I'm anticipating that today's the day that there's, there's a rally attempt. If on Friday there was a horrible close, then I would have thought that today would have been a very climactic low that could have been one that lasts maybe into next week. But uh, doing what it did, it says that they are going to be rallies, but overall we've got to think about slightly lower lows and lower highs at this particular point as this consolidation uh, still is underway. Now let's uh, go back to, um, so this is a single leg in the 10-minute E-mini. I had said that the, uh, nine, the 200 period moving average was a support. Now it's going to be resistance. And the, the, the further away on the upside we can break from the 43.90 200 period moving average, now that the nine period moving average has turned green, I mean, that's that's the leg A to the upside. I haven't got it. Well, the stochastics at 95.4%. That's really strong. And that says there's a chance. I, I can't put it in now on a single leg A. But there's a chance that I might put in a buy signal to buy mode upgrade. If there is a pullback and we can make leg B or whatever the leg is that takes out. So this resistance of that ugly bar from 1030 with 43.97.75 high, um, that's one thing. But getting halfway into this candle of nine of 1020 going into the 44 4400 level that would be really positive on the day so i see temps here to try to find some kind of support uh the other thing that we're looking at here that's really quite important is that the smhs and i should mention just for the record that we are short the smhs we went short uh, two days at the opening, two days after the high, all-time high, 161.17 on the 31st of July. We went short um, at uh, in the 159 area, <clears throat> taking a little bit off. At the same time, we are aggressively short the, the three times uh, short SOXS, and that we've taken lots of uh, little bits off. And the shorter term, um, we got a couple of trades on in the SOXS, I just can't do that right now. That's 10.56 right now. Let me just check my notes here. Okay, Monday. Um, yes. Yeah, we're out of that. With a, with a nice game, we've also had other very nice gains from this particular position. Core position is is under nine. So that's so far, that's good. So I do see a rally. I do see that the NVIDIA comes out with earnings on the 23rd. That's the day of the webinar. Woo -hoo, that should be very interesting. And it's having a fabulous, it went from 480 just a couple of weeks ago down to 403. And now it's trading at 460. That is a really good move. And I'm going to make a decision. Uh, at today's close, whether or not the semiconductors are telling us that this was the deepest, let me just get there to show you something very interesting. This is the deepest correction that the semis have had in a long time. Quickest and steepest, deepest uh, correction since way back when it was making the low in October of last year. You've had some pretty good pullbacks. This one was a little bit steeper than the others and much quicker. So there could be a decent rally, but my thinking is, I thought I'd drawn it in, but I'll draw it in now, that this is the pattern that says, after the large arch formation, if it tests the left side low and it's fairly successful or successful, you could have a rally, and that's the rally you have to monitor. So the low was 142.98 um, uh, back in June. It rallied all the way to that double top. How do these double tops work? Isn't that amazing? 160.79 um, on the 18th of July and 161.17 on the 31st of July. A, a, almost a perfect double top within 50 cents. But wait a minute, do you think that's amazing? The all-time high before was in November of 2021 at 159.42. We've made a triple, a little mini triple top here and within a dollar or two, a dollar and a half of all-time highs. That's amazing. So I'm going to monitor this because if I'm seeing that strength is really returning the semiconductors, there's a chance 
that the major thrust of the downside has been achieved and maybe sideways with slightly lower lows um, as there's a lot of bearishness. And let me show you what I mean by that. I didn't do it in my show, the Tiger Technician's Hour at 10 o'clock this morning, but I'll show it to you now. Oh, maybe I did. Uh, look at the VIX index. There was a Chapman Wave Roman candle on Friday. That's an inverted. That looks like, uh, if I can just find one here, the right side. Uh, there are always candles like that. No, I can't. All right. Well, basically what it is, is um, there's a long wick to the upside, a tiny wick at the bottom, and a big red candle, in this case, halfway or three quarters from the, low, from the high that was made. If we close below it within a day, that says it's actually, in this case, bullishness of bearishness to the VIX. That'll be very impressive. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Remember what we want to do in the, in the Chapman methodology? You try to identify the lowest low bar, count each successively peak. If a, a peak B, it starts to upgrade technically from a buy signal to a buy mode, it should go to at least a D and then it maybe even an E or F. In this case, we went to an E, pulled back in the one minute chart, green, nine period moving average, flipped to pink, then went to green, and now we've gone to another D, yet another D. But wait a minute, this is the five minute chart. There's your low bar in the 4370 area, and it goes pink, and then it changes to green, and now you've got your peak A. 
right across the 200 period. Look how long it's spent in the 200 period exponential moving average. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars. Seven has 35 minutes after spiraling to the upside. And then it rebuilt strength. <clears throat> pink, uh, pink nine period moving average. Is that pink? I should change the color. Um, the green crossed that, the black crossed that, the 14 period moving, and went to a D. So this is now leg D in the uh, five minute chart. But look how strong the stochastic is at 93% and the MACD is good. And look at this uh, 10 minute chart. This is still only a leg A from the low that was made at 12 o'clock. <clears throat> what exact time was it? Yeah, exactly noon, 43.7225. Now, one of the things I did for subscribers this morning, I want to do, we, as a, just a short-term trading position, we went long the UDOW, which is a position that we still have a core position from October, is, and uh, we've, this is a trading position only, uh, keeping the short position. Um, and we got stopped out already at 1.3 percent or something, or three, three, uh, three times long to get stopped out with that such a tiny stop. Well, the fact is that we were stopped out, and now it's above our entry point. But th the idea was that there was an oversold condition; it should be worked off with a bounce and then a pullback. The pullback was deeper than I anticipated, and now we're seeing new buyers perhaps come in, and the new buyers make it completely different now because. Now we can talk about, <clears throat> normally I say after 130, if the Dow is, I do make a call for my subscribers every day. If the Dow is up, uh, X, whatever it is, expect a positive close. If it is down, expect a negative close, or uh, I'll give some uh, uh, kind of scenario, all right? In this particular scenario, what I said is, is if the Dow <clears throat> can start to move sharply higher after 2 p.m., and let me just get the exact, uh, where it is, it? where is it, right here? Nope, it's right. Oh, did I just, no, there it is. So I had this, this is what I show my subscribers every day. And I drawn this, this is the Dow, with just my notations plus the uh, moving averages. This is with the moving averages, my notations plus the MACD and the slow stochastic and on balance volume. And this is the 120 minute chart. And then I do a little uh, a synopsis of what we're looking at here. And um, after 2 p.m., there should be, uh, if the Dow is plus 80s, well, of course, it got smacked earlier on. So I might have to modify that. I would just say if the Dow can get to even just a plus 20s at this particular point, that's going to help the general market. And there should be, I'm, in, I'm anticipating a, today into tomorrow. And if tomorrow is positive, into Wednesday morning, and then we get a real test of what's going on. And I think those semiconductors are going to give you a, a good sign. So now this is because the nine was so strong, and the MACD was strong, the stochastic was over 80%. Now we've got to E, a leg E, I call it a leg as a floating letter until it makes a lower high, then it becomes a peak. Leg D in the five-minute chart, still only a leg A, a single leg A for all these bars. It looks a little bit like, um, looks a little bit like, where is it? We had, we were watching a stock for months. Um, Alta, Alta Beauty had the same sort of thing. Look at this, Alta Beauty, look at that. This is a monthly chart. Look how it just went spiraling up until it hit that 560.60 high, May of this year. And then it plunged down to 430. Now it's trading at 445. But ELF is taking over. Let's see what ELF is doing here. Elf was doing it. Look at this exact same thing. Straight line up, monthly chart, a peak D at 137.48, high on the 2nd of August, 132, round number low. That to me was really important. When I see round numbers, um, at a, especially a gap up high, and then it can't break that and sustain the move higher, that's usually there's your dreaded H. Remember the pattern we were looking at before, that red one that fails at a peak A or a B? If it takes out sharply the left side low, it can go a lot lower. That's what it did. Um, and now it's only a G in, in the weekly chart. <clears throat> I haven't yet got even a sell signal. That's how strong this little baby has been. Elf Beauty Inc. I always said the beauty products, they're the, the last ones to go when, when times get tough. Um, all right, let's just see what's going on. I, I mean, I'm liking what I see right now. That's why we try to add to our long positions uh, this morning. Uh, we had a... 
a uh, fairly low price stock that we had once before, just a small position, but it, it did fantastically. Then it took us out for a, a gains in the shorter term uh, position, but the the entry point was stopped out for break even trade. <clears throat> And now we're trying to get back, but it's not participating as well as it should. It's okay, but not great. But uh, other stocks seem to be doing quite, quite nicely. Now, let's do a couple of things here. So let me see. There are a couple of questions that I had left over for my show, and I'll do it. Yeah, could you – NVIDIA's NVIDIA's coming out with earnings. Can you have a look at NVIDIA? So because we are short the semis, uh, this is a big, big part of it. And the weekly chart had a pattern I call the falling X. That's lower highs and much lower lows. The design itself looks like a, this is the pattern that we always look at. If I can get it right there. So this is the pattern. Simple pattern. You lose it as, as a template. Look, you, you scream up to a high, usually a D, E, or F, and then you start to make lower highs and much lower lows. Then all of a sudden, it finds support out of the blue. And it starts to rally and it takes out the declining trend line at the top, so it's the upper cone trend line, upper declining cone trend line, in other words, and then it can do a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside in the same amount of uh, time as the first rally. That's what I call a one-to-one -one Chapman wave extension, but it has to be a parallel extension. In other words, the angle of ascent or descent, in this case it's ascent, needs to be the same, and that same number of bars. Well, this only happened to be one bar. So this is also just one bar. So I'm just looking at this, and I'm saying, you know, if this rallies into earnings on the 23rd after the close, that's as I'm doing my webinar, and that's the reason why um, I said to subscribers, I hope to do some futures, actual Trading, even though it's a webinar for subscribers, and I don't have futures in the uh, in my newsletter, once or twice, but most of the time never. Um, it's the patterns that we're looking at, so we're going to be able to see what happens, um, you know, to the futures during that time because it's part of what the webinar will be. Some of it's live, some of it's fixed. Notations are already done. <clears throat> okay, so with that said, there's another pattern that I look at. You see this falling axe here. There's another one right here. Look, the, the highs. I don't know how markets do it. How does the price know when it's declining like this to have an exact trend line reserve? Look at this. How does it know to make a little bit lower high, then a little bit lower high, then a little... How does it do that? Well, there are explanations. I call it the tide, the way the tide's coming down. I'll be right back. Dow's down 78, S&P's up 19. Bows of Chapman City for... Larry, Larry Pesavento just lost his voice. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSC American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. This is Larry uh, Pesaventa's Trade What You See Hour. But Larry started off really well with uh, <clears throat> all the descriptions that are needed. And then his voice just faded away. <clears throat> so, Larry, I hope you get your voice back. We all need you here. In the meantime, back at the ranch, bonds. <clears throat> so, the TBT, which is the inverse of the TLT, the Lehman 20 year Treasury Bond Fund, uh, this is short. This is at 36.38, 3.638, up one. <clears throat> I mean, up one. And where is it going to? Well, in these cup formations, I always, my expression is, actually, let me just do this live while we're, while we're here. This is a weekly chart. I grab the left side high. In fact, before I do that, let me just type in what the price is. It is 39.32 on the week of the 28th of October. 39.22.10. 10. 28th, did I say 28th? October 23. Oh, 22. So, this ball formation, almost like an inverted head and shoulders, has the potential to stay in the rectangle and make a lowercase h, then go to a lowercase m. As long as that left side is holding within two bars, getting back above that left side low, it says there's some kind of strength. And then if you see the technical start to strengthen, and in this case, the nine period moving average flipped over to the four over the 14 to go positive. Now, what we're looking at is the chance <clears throat> that you can have a one to one. This is bar symmetry. This is what I call the plumb line symmetry of looking at the number of bars on the left side. Now, normally I go to a particular bar. In this case, I'd like to take the low. If it if we can take the low and it looks, wow, it looks like this is a really good chance that this is going to go with the trajectory. This is the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. I take it from a particular trough on the left side. Green and dash because it's going to the upside. You can have the resistance kept getting hit. It's missed it now. <clears throat> now we see if this has an equal the right side. Look at that. Click, click, click. Let's see where it fits right there. And that takes you to the, the second week of September. <clears throat> so it has some time, but there's a chance in this particular instance, <clears throat> excuse me, that the stochastic at 89% is really strong. On balance is getting a little overbought. Look, there it is. On balance is getting a little overbought. MACD is spectacular. Look at that rise of the nine period differential <clears throat> away from the 26 period moving average, the slow moving average. Look at the histogram, the vertical lines. Look at the way the price is way above the nine period exponential moving average. The nine is way above the 14. So, so far, <clears throat> this looks very much like yields are going to test the high that was made, <clears throat> and that was last year. Uh, 39.22, I think I said. 
and at this point it's at 36.37, 3.637. So it doesn't have to do that. I mean, it's bonds. The TBT is not looking at this chart and saying, "Thank you, Basil. That's where I want to go." I did not realize. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll. That's exact. No, it's just doing what it's doing, and we use whatever technical tools we can to try to at least give some kind of a projection on a purely technical basis in this time to say that's what we're looking at. Now, normally what I would have done is I would have been a little conservative and I would have said, I want to use this tiny little candle over here as my plumb line. This is the plumb line I'm using, but actually the plumb line I wanted to use, and there was a question I had, could you please do the TBT, so that's what I'm doing, um, is over here. And if I did that, let me just do a little sub context here. To that bar, to that vertical line, plumb line, it's not the exact low, but it's the plumb I'm saying I'm going to use, and then make that green, and that says right there. So my conservative way would have said, this week or next week, you should see 39.22. Uh, I, no, I should have said, sorry, that's more aggressive. My more conservative side says, just stretch it out, take the low bar, don't be a little aggressive. So this is the low bar we actually are using right here, because it'll be funny if it happens this week, but anyway, that's what we're using, and I'll just set these aside. So I'm going to put an X to say, this kind of would be my target, all right? Is it going to happen? Who the heck knows? But this is the work that I did, and it says the key support level now in the TBT is right here, is right here. Nine period moving average of 34.8 and the 34.27 level of the 14 period moving average. That should be the containment area on any sudden pullback. All right, so I wanted to show you something else, uh, some of the techniques. Uh, this is not something, I, I discussed this, but I never, I never actually talk about it in terms of, because I don't have the formula, it was done for me, and unfortunately, the person who did it for me is no longer with us. <clears throat> you see all these resistance levels. These are Chapman Wave automated resistance and support levels. These are all the resistance, and it keeps stalling at this level. If it takes out, if the E-mini takes out 44, if it goes to 44.10, it treats this now as support rather than resistance. And the other thing I should have spoken about as I was doing it, I should have said, because the nine period moving average is so strong here, I should have an alternate count and say, that looks like an F, but it could be a brand new B, and then that fits perfectly. We've got F, B, C, D, and now we've just made an E. And now we're going to have a little bit of a digestive phase. And this is still, this, this is from noon. This is almost two hours, two hours, and we've got a single leg A up in the 10-minute um, chart. Now, because it's a single leg up, it doesn't mean to say, oh, my God, it's going to do the same thing in the next leg and the next. No. In fact, what it could do is it could pull back because there is still a lot of selling pressure. You can see that the Dow is refusing even to get positive. Um, look, we could pull back and then make a nominal B, then another one, then a nominal C, and then an even go to D. You could even fail here because you haven't gone above the left side high. In this case, that peak B minus. At 1010 10 this morning, Eastern Town 440850. So it's a work in progress. Stochastic's fabulous at 92%. So that's saying this is this should be going higher. MACD is very good in the in the 10 minute chart, weekly chart, same thing, strong, 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 still a leg D. And you've got a little peak E in the uh, one minute chart, which says, yep, you could have a little bit of stalling, maybe test the 4498, 4496 level uh, if you have to do some testing. All right, so with that said, so I hope that helped you. So the TBT is extremely strong and is suggesting that the TLT, the mirror image on the down, not exactly because it's already gone very close to the left side low. Look, here it is. There's the H pattern that goes to an M, lowercase M, it comes all the way back. And here we are, uh, 91.85, the low of the, 20, the week of the 28th of October. And the low so far today is 92.23, 50 cents away. I mean, really, huh? Can you believe it? So this is the bonds, I think, are quite a story. And that's going to be uh, a kind of a, a handicap and a hindrance 
for really sustained rallies in the Dow, or uh, sorry, in the general market at this particular point. I'll be back. Uh, Dow's down 77, S&P's up 20, Basil Chapman sitting for Larry, Larry Pesavento. Be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. That was Travis sitting for uh, Larry Pesavento. My show is the 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock show, Tiger Technicians Hour. Actually, I should do this. I always forget. Uh, let me just do this right now. On Wednesday, uh, 5 o'clock to 5.30, if I can just get there. Let's see if I'm able to do that. Uh, go to Tiger. We go straight to the wrong one. There it is. Menu, we want the home page. There it is. Okay. So on, on Wednesday, my opening call newsletter, I have a subscriber webinar. My, Wednesday, August the 23rd, 4 to 5 30, the power of the 4, 9 14 moving average and the uh, and other indicators in the Chapman Wave uh, methodology. Um, so, how to assess. The 914 moving averages, the sustaining power, how to prepare for market turns, um, looking at um, using the unbalanced volume. I just discussed that um, for potential price turns, uh, when and how to use the 200 period exponential moving average. Plus, of course, I'll look at the symmetry bar, symmetry left side, right side. Look, I've just drawn this in here. There's a chance that if the uh, E mini, which has just gone to that peak E into a cell signal, 
almost upgraded to sell mode. If it takes out 43.99 in the next couple of minutes, it's going to retest the uh, 43.97.25 low that was made at 13.32, 1.32 this afternoon. Um, just these are things that I like to do. You've got your doji candle PD, but there's no signal yet in the five minute chart. And uh, all right, let's get back to the story here. So what? We'll, so this is for subscribers. You can be become a subscriber. I've got umpteen uh, webinars discussing all these different techniques as well. This will be archived if you can't get there at five, uh, four o'clock. You can. It's archived. You'll be able to go over as many times. Of course, you can ask as many questions as you want. So with that said, if the Dow, which is down uh, 92, is able to just get to like a minus 30 or even better by 3.30 this afternoon. There could be a nice close going into tomorrow, but if it gives back a big chunk, and actually the Dow minus 94 now goes to minus 150, and the S&P is only up eight, it says it's gonna be a bit of a struggle, but so far the S